Hi everybody, welcome to today's lesson on speaking skills and strategies. Let's get started. So speaking skills are the physical part of presenting and communicating. We, I've divided it into three parts. The voice, which tells, says the words. The body shows, um, reinforces the words. And the eyes that connect with the audience. So a quick pricey, when I'm talking about voice, I'm talking about volume, tone, pace, and enunciation. Let's take a look at each of those. Volume, obviously the most important of our skills because if your audience can't hear you, no matter how great your idea is, they won't be able to appreciate it or understand it. So you have to make sure that you're speaking loudly enough but not too loud. Let's look at our natural volume. Some people speak very loudly and it's, it can sound very aggressive and almost, almost like an assault. So if you do speak loudly, bring your energy down sometimes. I know when I start talking about teaching or communication, I get quite animated and excited and it can be a bit tiring for people. Other people just speak very quietly, naturally, which is fine. You're lovely to be around, but you want to make sure to maybe add a bit more energy and enthusiasm. Additionally, in North American culture, if you speak very quietly, people might think that you're not a leader. They might think that you don't care about or you don't have enthusiasm for your subject. Tone. Tone is the warmth or the, the quality of your voice. I've used a picture of someone with a baby here because without even thinking about it, we alter our tone when we talk to babies. You wouldn't pick up a baby and say, hey baby, how are you? Because that would startle the baby, right? So you pick up a baby and their voice tends to go up in pitch and acquire a very soft and gentle tone. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. You're so cute. We tend to speak gently and more quietly. So use the emotion in your voice to help convey the message. If you are talking about something that's really important and it's very serious, let the tone of your voice convey that. If you're talking about something that, yeah, it's not so important, it's funny, it's silly, let your voice convey that as well. Pace and pauses. Like volume, if you speak too quickly, people can't understand you. Now, normally in conversation, we speak a bit faster than you want to speak in a presentation. When you're presenting, you want to slow it down a little bit and add tiny pauses between your words. Listening is exhausting. And if someone speaks quickly for more than a few words, oh, it's so tiring being the listener and we'll probably just stop listening. It also doesn't give us time to think about what you've said. We're just desperately trying to keep up. So make sure you speak slower than normal and add pauses. And also use the pause. You can use the pause. Let me tell you the secret to successful speaking. Are you ready? It's use a pause, right? Do you see what I did there? You can build up using pace and volume and then <gasps> drop a pause. So add pauses, they feel long to you, they won't feel long to your audience. Enunciation, this is one of my favorite pictures. No, I don't want you to speak like this beautiful zebra because that would sound weird right? But if you do think about showing your teeth when you speak, it has the benefit of helping you enunciate more clearly. Instead of speaking like this, which is really hard to understand, you speak like this, which is a bit easier to understand. The added bonus, of course, is that it looks a little bit like you're smiling, so you seem to be friendlier to your audience. If your audience thinks you're friendly, they're more likely to like you. If they're more likely to like you, they're more likely to listen and pay attention. All right, let's move on to vocal variety. What does that mean? 
Simply, do you change your volume, your tone, and your pace as you speak? Here's an example. Hello, welcome to my presentation. I'm so excited that you're here, and in a minute, I'm going to give you the secret to happiness. Are you ready? So imagine if I said that with no vocal variety. It would sound like this. Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm really excited that you're at my presentation. And in a moment, I'm going to give you the secret to happiness. Are you ready? It's vocal variety. Do you see the difference? One is much more interesting to listen to.